All right, Jackson and I are on our way up East Fork Trail in Red River, New Mexico. We're just gonna pedal up to the bridge and come back down. It's like four miles up, four miles down. It's a quick little morning exercise. The East Fork is part of a loop you can do up to a lake right below Wheeler Peak, seven miles up, seven miles down. And this way is the way that MTB Project says to climb and then go down the other side. But I like to climb the other side and go down on the East Fork side. Reason being, this is more a straight shot from this top all the way down. And the other way, if you were to go down towards the bottom, has a lot of switchbacks that aren't really that fun. It's kind of just wide open and flat. This way, you got single track all the way. So it really starts to just kind of plane out. Pretty gradual climb. A couple little steep techie bits, but pretty much all the way back to the bridge. It's a gradual, easy climb. If you're gonna go higher than the bridge, it gets real, not real technical, but a bit more. Some more like tight switchbacks, a little bit more rocky terrain. We are almost there. The river East Fork is literally right here. We just got a little descent to the bridge right here. All right. little climb trail is pretty much downhill all the way back to the trailhead Oh, Jack's right there. Nice. So I was riding at the bike park yesterday, coming down off the top of Faux Show, and something stung me right in the end of cubital space of my right arm. 
and I kept on riding because I, I like stopped real quick, shook it off, didn't see any stingers, so I just kept on riding. But whatever it was, it stung me. It drew blood, but the freaking red mark. Well, I get to the bottom just fine, finish the lap, and I'm on the chair going up, and I start getting real dizzy, and like my vision just went white. Like I really couldn't see, started getting dizzy, was slurring my words, biting my cheek trying to talk, almost passed out. And then all that went away by the time I got to the, to the top of the chair and just sat up top in the summit shack for a bit, drink a little water, took it easy down. And on my way down, I started getting this splitting headache. And figured I would take a break. So I went back to the condo. Ate some lunch. Took a little nap. Went and tried to go get some more laps in. And just could not shake the headache. Mind you, this whole time I've been like super hydrated. Ever since I got up Friday, just been drinking lots of water. And still to this day, like right now, I still feel it like that shaking the cold or whatever feeling. And my right arm where that bug got me in my crook of my elbow, every little bump I feel it. Whoa. So I don't know what the heck it was but I don't ever want to be stung by it again. Pup. Good boy, Jackson. Good boy. Kind of challenging these shadows are really playing a trick on my line choice.
I'm not hearing the pup. That's pretty much it right there. Back to the truck, we are.